There continues to be serious concerns about whether the radiation from the Fukushima nuclear plant disaster has reached our shores. Tenders reporter Ashley DiMartino shows us how a local professor may find the answer in kelp. A YouTube video posted last month sent the public in Northern California into a panic. Here I am, I'm over background. The alarm's going off. SDSU biologist Matt Edwards knows that the public has been concerned about radiation levels ever since the Fukushima disaster in 2011. What the, the meaning of these things is whether or not they're actually um, harmful or whether they actually pose a risk. Researchers are gathering kelp, one of the best ocean plants to use to indicate water quality from along the west coast to analyze it for traces of radioactive material. It's a watch called the Kelp Project, started by Steve Manley, a professor at California State University, Long Beach. Edwards, along with grad students, will head to the kelp beds near Point Loma and Ocean Beach to collect samples. Once collected, the process begins with drying out the leaves and grinding them up. We've taken big kelp plant, we've now ground it down to a small um, powder where the pieces are a fine particulate. And at that level, these things are um, ready for processing. Not only will the kelp be collected in San Diego, but at 30 different locations up and down the California coast. Scientists will also be taking samples all up and down the West Coast from Mexico to Alaska. If we can detect um, levels of radioactive material that they're going to be very low. Um, they're not going to be a public health risk. The testing will be done every few months to keep track of radiation levels. Ashley DiMartino, 10 News.